Many of you will know I probably spend way too much time in the camper van, and when I'm away, I make full use of these heavy-duty power stations and power banks that can supply full mains electricity off-grid, as well as keeping things like my laptops, cameras, phones, and of course my drone batteries fully charged. Uh, this little unit, the OmniCharge 40C Plus, fantastic little bit of kit, and you will get at least one or two drone battery recharges out of it. But it was this mighty beast here, the Anker Powerhouse 757, that I considered to be the king of the pack. I did a review on this last year, fantastic specs. But now DJI have thrown their hat into the ring of power stations. And I have to say, I'm genuinely impressed, really impressed. Because the last couple of weeks, I've been playing around with the new DJI Power 1000. And it really does seem to pip the competition in a number of areas. Not only does it deliver more power for beefier appliances, it's less expensive, uh, way lighter, and tailor-made to ultra-fast charge some of the hungriest DJI drone batteries. So that is what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. Yes, as you know, I also play with these oversized power banks to keep all of my tech fully charged when I'm on the road. And like I said, whilst the little OmniCharge 40C Plus, great for slipping in your day pack uh, for the day and you will get one or two recharges out of it, this was my go-to beast to give me all the power I needed when I was on the road. I relied for everything power related. It has some of the most impressive specs and frankly, I did not think it would be beaten in a hurry. Um, for me, of course, though, its biggest issue was the weight. It came in at a whopping 20 kilograms, 44 pounds. This thing is a heavy thing to lug around the campsite. But I loved it because it could pretty much handle anything I threw at it, charging multiple drone batteries simultaneously and crucially getting them charged pretty quickly, if not as fast as a mains charger, which, of course, is useful if you're out for the day and doing a lot of flying. But I have to say it is this new bit of kit from DJI, which I think has picked the top spot. Uh, this is the DJI Power 1000, which is the bigger brother of their two new power stations that they've just released. And crucially, they have been designed specifically with their big drone batteries in mind, charging the big um, Inspire 3, Mavic 3, or Air 3 batteries to 95% of charge in under half an hour and fully charging to 100% in around 45 to 55 minutes, which I think is absolutely crazy. So look, without any more further ado, let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. Um, this is not like a drone, it's rough, tough and rugged. It's easy to grab, strong enough to use even as a seat or stand on, which I think is absolutely great for outdoors. Now I said that the weight of the Anker power station was a big issue, whopping 20 kilograms. It's getting up towards your suitcase luggage limit on British Airways. DJI 1000 is way, way lighter, a sprightly 13 kilograms or 29 pounds. But crucially, the overall capacity, i.e. how much power the thing can store, is only slightly, slightly less. The Anker 757 has a beefy 1,229 watt hour capacity, which is huge. That's enough to power my Dell laptop 130 watt charger for around nine hours. DJI 1000 has got a whopping 1,024 watt hours, which is enough to run that same laptop charger for almost eight hours, which considering it's half the weight and way smaller, I think to me, very impressive. Um, take a look at it. The 1000 model, as said, it's got two mains power outlets here. It's got the two USB A's, two USB C's. Uh, it's where you plug in to get the mains charging up. And crucially, over here, you can see here, busy charging my Mavic 3 battery. You've got these two additional sockets, these SDC specialist sockets. You've got a number of different cables and accessories you can buy for that, including um, car charger or a tailor-made uh, cable for your specific type of drone. So this one is charging my Mavic 3. You can get another one for the Air 3 as well. Uh, like the Anker, DJI uses uh, lithium ferrophosphate cells, which is pretty much industry standard, gives the best lifespan for lithium batteries, keeping around 80% of capacity after over 3,000 charges. And also like the Anker, the DJI can be charged up by mains, uh, car, or even solar panels. Although the DJI can handle higher powered solar panels, giving it a much faster recharge time. It also has a pretty blistering mains power recharge time of just 70 minutes, which again, I think is absolutely bonkers. Now, the mains power outlets on the uh, Anker, they can pump up 1500 watts. Now, that is a 
lot of power. It's enough for a toaster, which for me was one of life's essentials. And I use this for my uh, toast and peanut butter hit when camping. But the DJI Power manages to beat that, pumping out a steady 1800 watts and even managing 2200 watts for up to 15 minutes at a time. I was playing around with this downstairs in the kitchen. It ran a standard kitchen kettle, a 2.2 kilowatt kettle, without any issues taking it right through to boiling, which to me is really impressive stuff for a portable power station. For laugh, I even cooked dinner with it, running my slow cooker for a full five hours without any issues. And yeah, of course, I know you're not going to normally run a slow cooker for five hours on a campsite, but it's a 180 watt slow cooker running for five hours, which to me just shows how much power is stored up in this thing. And what was also nice to hear or not hear was how quiet the fan is when powering a beefier appliance. These things do generate quite a bit of heat and the fans have to kick in to keep them cool. Um, Anchor does that, so does DJI Power, but it has such a quiet, quiet little fan, you could barely notice it. And just like the Anchor, the DJI has got pass-through UPS function or uninterruptible power supply. This makes it useful at home when you're not on the road. You can plug an appliance or your computer system or even your hi-fi and the like into this, which is then it plugged into the mains. And everything will run as normal, except when there's a power failure, a general power failure, your system, your computer system and the like, anything that's plugged in will just continue running smoothly without uh, flicking off. So really, really useful feature, I think, to protect all your delicate stuff like computers and hi-fi when you're at home and not on the road. So to me, there's no doubt DJI 1000 matches or beats the anchor in most specs, but where it really wins hand down is obviously the fast charging of the drone batteries. Um, don't get me wrong, like I said, USB-C charging is impressive on all of these units. Anchor's USB-C can pump out 100 watts, which is enough to charge a Mavic 3, an Inspire 3 battery or an Air 3 battery. And in truth, you've got them charged in around an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. But it is the DJI power stations that have got a, a special little trick up their sleeve. Because using the special um, SDC cable specific for the drone model, as I said earlier, it can recharge big drone batteries to 95% of charge in under half an hour, which is around the flight time of your drone. So you can literally recharge one battery in the time it takes to deplete your other battery whilst flying, which I think is just absolutely crazy. And in truth, of course, you wouldn't necessarily want to do this all the time. Lithiums, of course, do prefer slower charging to extend the overall battery life, but occasional ultra-fast charging will not hurt them. And having the ability to recharge so fast is absolutely brilliant if you're doing some heavy-duty flying on a specific day out. And you can see here with the Mavic 3 charging now, um, it was on two lights when I started uh, recording this video. We're now up to four lights as well. It is charging at an absolute blistering speed. Um, and of course, that recharge, 95% in under half an hour, is, is even quicker because you normally won't be charging from zero anyway. Uh, charging a battery from 25% charge takes just over 20 minutes to get it back up to that 95%, which is really impressive, I think. So for me, I have to say the DJI ticks all the right boxes because all of my powerhouses have been bought primarily as camping and off-road power stations that also happen to charge my drone batteries very well. Now the DJI Power is a power bank that has been specifically built to fast charge my drones, but is also more than capable for handling all the demands I've got when I'm off-road and camping. Comes with a brilliant little case as well as an extra accessory, but what I really liked about this is that you've got the vents, so you can leave it in the case all the time because you've got the big side vents for the vents on the actual unit itself. And of course, everything that you plug in, including the mains power, goes along this front panel which, if I get the bag right, you can see you can access through that window. So real thought has gone into this carry case. It is not just a wraparound, but it is a carry case that is specifically designed for this unit and you can leave on, crucially, all the time when you're on the road. So absolutely brilliant. Now, I must admit, I was a little unsure when I heard DJI were branching out into what is essentially camping and off-road gear, but they have, as I said, managed to tick all the boxes and I think get it right. What really surprised me, and again, I'm being blunt here, is it's a relatively decent price, especially when compared with the competitors. Um, DJI Power 1000 is chunky 879 pounds, 999 euros or 799 dollars. Obviously, this will not be for everybody. 
There is also the smaller DJI 500. It's got the same number of outlets, only one uh, SDC uh, accessory port, half the storage capacity, 512 watt hours. That's half the storage capacity of the thousand, but it's almost about half the weight as well. Seven kilograms, 16 pounds, and it is almost half the price as well. 459 pounds or 419 dollars. Anyway, that's about it. I have to say, perfect timing for me with summer coming up. Um, yeah, I have to say, I was a little bit surprised to say that when uh, DJI were branching out into this, this is not normally the area of uh, stuff I'd consider them to be producing, but they've just got it right, in my opinion. You know, to make it tailor-made for these super fast charging of the drones, I think, is an absolute uh, uh, killer, and uh, it really does knock everything else on the head. Anyway, look, it's not just about me, is it? Always interested to hear what you guys got to think. Drop a comment below. Um, tell me what models you've got as well. If you've got any alternatives, cheap alternatives, more expensive, what's worked specifically for your particular drones. I'm always interested to hear uh, what you guys are using out there. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you found it useful. Give me a little thumbs up as ever if you did find this useful. Until next time, have fun, stay charged, happy flying.